Right guys, let's see few more questions in this video. In a transformer, the self-induced EMF and mutual induced EMF, E1 and E2, sir. In phase or out of phase. Generally, transformer is a phase shifting device, which is nothing but the phase shift between supply voltage and induced voltage is 180 degrees. But the angle between primary and secondary induced EMFs are here the angle between V and E1 180, V and E2 180, but E1 and E2 sir, in phase to each other, in phase to each other. And next one, and next one, a 400 by 200 volts 50 Hz transformer operates at flux density when energized from its HV side, from HV side, 400 side is equals to 4.44 into flux density 1.2 into a into f into n1 or n which is equals to n the given for this transformer linear dimensions are doubled now they doubled linear dimensions when the linear dimensions doubled the area becomes four times while the number of tons are halved number of tons are halved number of tons are halved on both sides, HV and LV. If the transformer is now connected to 800 volts, 50 hertz, now the flux density will be, now the flux density will be, this is the solution. Let's calculate. Once, twice, gets cancelled, gets cancelled, gets cancelled, gets cancelled. This two will come here. This two will come here. So what is the answer? 1 by 2 is equals to 1.2 1.2 into 1 by 4 and this 2 will come here 2 ones are otherwise 4 ones are 4 threes are 2 ones are 2 fives are so now tell me the flux density b is equal to the flux density b is equals to 6 by 5 the flux density b is equals to 6 by 5 which is equals to 1.2 tesla 1.2 Tesla. This is a next question. The maximum value of flux in the core of 5000 by 500 volts 50 hertz single phase transformer is this much. The number of tons N1 and N2 sir. N1 and N2 sir. First of all, E1 is equals to 4.44 into 4.44 into 5m into what is 5m? 821 by 100 and milli milli 5m into f into f they given 50 into n1. So now calculate. Now calculate 50 ones, 50 hundreds. So n1 is equals to 100 into 100 into 100 into 1000. 100, 200, 300 into 1000 divided by 444 into 821, sir. We need to calculate this. We need to calculate this. Then you will get some answer. Sir, once do it, sir. Once do it, sir. Calculator. So what will be the answer? Come on, do fast. Come on, do first. We need to solve this. So generally 800 times, 400 times, almost uh, how much, sir? Here, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, divided by triple 4, divided by 821. So 2743, 2743 point something, 2743 point something, nothing but 274, sir. N1 is the 274. Sir, what about N2, sir? Again, we need to calculate all those things. No need. For 5,000 turns, this is the value around 2,700 and something. So, for 500 volts, almost 10%. Uh, almost it's a 10%. That's enough. Option A is your correct answer. So, this is the one. And go for next question. When short circuit test on your transformer is performed at 25 volts, 
50 heads. Drawn current is I1. It is lagging power factor of 51. 51 lagging. If the test is performed at 25 volts, 25 heads. Nothing but with some reduced frequency. The current is I2 and the power factor angle is phi 2 and the power factor angle is phi 2. When the frequency reduced, ultimately reactance reduces, impedance reduces. When the impedance reduces, the short circuit current, short circuit current is equals to Vsc by Zsc. When the Zsc reduces, ultimately the short circuit current will increase. So ultimately, when the frequency reduced, the current will be more. The current will be more, I2 more. I2 will be more, I2 will be more. What about power factor? Generally what you know, the power factor, the power factor is equals to R by Z. When the Z reduces, ultimately the power factor will increase. Power factor increasing nothing but power factor angle reducing. Power factor increasing nothing but power factor angle reducing. When the power factor angle reduces, nothing but phi 2 is less, phi 2 is less. This is your answer. Very tricky question and very important like a concept for us. And let's go for next question. Two transformers of the same type. Two transformers of the same type. Using the same grade of iron and conducting material are the same. Are designed to work at the same flux and current densities. The flux values are same and core conducting parts are same, conductors are same, everything same. But the linear dimensions of the one are two times the those of the other. Its linear dimensions are double. Its linear dimensions are single, simply. The linear dimensions of one are two times those of the other. Compared to this one, its linear dimensions are doubled. When the linear dimensions doubled, area four times. The KVA rating of the two transformers closely equal to the ratio of KVA. The ratio of KVA of the two transformers closely equal to. Nothing but the KVA rating of this transformer to KVA rating of the another transformer. When the linear dimensions are increased by two times, the KVA rating actually increased by 16 times compared to this one. Yes or no? When the linear dimensions increased by two times, area four times, EMF four times, current four times, but the KVA rating, KVA nothing but voltage into current, which is 4 times into 4 times, which is equals to 16 times. When the linear dimensions are doubled, then the KVA rating increased by 16 times. So this will be your answer. This will be your answer. So these are the few questions on EMF equations.